Hello and welcome back to the blog Wildlife in the Suburban Garden. Uh, if you're checking back to see how I'm getting on with my buzzard project then this afternoon has been uh, a lot of fun so far. I set up my cameras when I arrived, that's my GoPro camera and this uh, Kaiser bar both uh, pointing on uh, bait that I have set out to try and get the buzzards in the frame so to speak and uh, I've been here since about 1.30 and uh, I was pretty sure that I could see everything that was going on out there I'd got my GoPro acting as a monitor linked to the iPad so I could see things coming and going and I had uh, dead day old chicks out on uh, the log next to the drinking platform so comes up to about 10 past 3 and I had a quick look out to see what was going on and I couldn't see any chicks <laughs> uh, I thought how have I missed that a buzzard's obviously been in and taken a chick right in front of my nose without me even realizing and uh, I thought I'd missed it but then I realized of course that I'd set up uh, this Kaiser bars uh, adventure camera they call it uh, recording in HD onto uh, the log where the chicks were and uh, I um, rushed out of the caravan hide went and retrieved the camera put the micro SD card into the computer and had a look at what we've got and it's little wonder that I didn't miss it because the buzzard comes in uh, lands immediately picks up one of the chicks and flies off with it all in the space of two and a half three seconds unfortunately um, again I don't know why I keep doing this I underestimate the size of the buzzard so all you've got is like a, a flurry of excitement as the buzzard comes in uh, it completely fills the frame you can't see the head hardly you just see uh, exactly what's happening you hear the thump as it lands on the log and uh, well have a look at the video because I'm going to put it on the end of this so what I've done now is I've positioned um, the bait in a, a better way and I've positioned both the uh, both the GoPro camera and the Kaiser bar camera onto uh, a log where I've got the remains of a rabbit and some chicks and um, we'll see that it's now 16.09, we'll, we've got a couple of hours, we'll see if I manage to record something then. So uh, I, I'm quite optimistic, I think it will happen. What is intriguing is this buzzard uh, appears uh, from nowhere and it seems to fly around the edge of the wood and then uh, come up the 10 or 20 feet from the gate to, the, uh, uh, to where the bait was placed and then uh, disappears back into that direction. So who knows how it how it knew that there was bait there but it knew exactly where it was it flew in um, quickly and exited just as quickly in a very 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 cautious way in the past the buzzards have stayed there to feed who knows why the bird thought it was suddenly a good idea to come and leave immediately um, there uh, it's a mystery the more you try and learn about uh, wildlife and birds and birds of prey um, the the more that you realize that you uh, the, the you realize that you know so little about it that's what I'm trying to say and um, uh, it's all a learning curve so I have learned that buzzards are extremely wary and I would guess that they're in extremely intelligent uh, I was very fortunate a couple of years ago to bump into someone that was doing a master's degree uh, on the behavior or, or a subject if that's the right expression was uh, magpies and specifically cognizant behavior in magpies can you imagine and uh, I'm, I'm I've sort it sort of um, always stuck in my mind this this idea that birds uh, have this uh, cognizant uh, me memory in other words the they can remember an experience and then learn about that experience and then uh, adjust their behavior accordingly so I guess what's happened here is that uh, these buzz buzzards are actually thinking aren't they they've seen this prey they know it's a good place they've seen me coming and going they know I'm here they haven't caused any uh, damage to them obviously and uh, but they know there's a risk because there's always a risk where man's concerned 
so they're thinking it all through and they're grabbing the prey and uh, it's too good an opportunity to miss and off they go so let's hope that we record something else later on in the afternoon uh, last night before I left here I put some mealworms in a little pot under some uh, bark just in front of the caravan and uh, all those mealworms have gone there was a pot full so something has been coming to take them I hope it's sh shrews um, I will be putting a camera onto the pot uh, in the course of the next day or so I'll keep I'll keep experimenting to see if the shrews uh, come and take more or if the mealworms disappear and uh, then we'll take it from there so uh, have a look at the the video below of the buzzard flying in quickly and taking uh, the bait and uh, I'll check back tomorrow and uh, we'll see if we can give you something better to look at have a nice day bye bye